Greetings, everyone, and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant, and this is the news from Gyeonggi Province this week. In his opening address at the 2021 Korea Basic Income Fair on April 28th, Gyeonggi Province Governor Lee Jae-myung stated that basic income is the single most powerful economic policy that can be used in preparation for the Fourth Industrial Revolution and that Korea features ideal conditions for leading the realization of basic income policy. According to Governor Lee, the extreme situation that humanity faces with COVID-19 is, ironically, providing an opportunity for strengthening our confidence in basic income. Stating that basic income policy has already become deeply rooted in society, he stressed that successful preparation for the Fourth Industrial Revolution requires neither fear nor hesitation, but instead calls for imagination and courage in preparing for a new era and opening new roads. On April 28th, representatives of 53 local Korean autonomies, including Gyeonggi Province, officially declared the establishment of the Local Government Council on Basic Income, a body that will pursue the public acceptance and nationwide realization of basic income policies. This declaration was made during the Council's historic inaugural meeting at the Korea International Exhibition Center in Gyeonggi Province, an event that was attended by representatives of 53 of the 75 member autonomies. Consisting of local governments that share a recognition of the necessity for basic income, the formation of this council was originally proposed by Gyeonggi Province Governor Lee Jae-myung at the 40th Korea Provincial Governors Council in October 2018. For the first time among Korean autonomies, Gyeonggi Province has initiated dialogue and secured a cooperative agreement with online delivery platform operators and related labor unions regarding labor issues and rights in the delivery sector. The agreement was signed by Gyeonggi Province Governor Lee Jae-myung and representatives of three delivery platform labor unions and nine platform operators on April 29th. The objective of this agreement is to effectively respond to rapidly changing delivery service labor environments during the Fourth Industrial Revolution and global pandemic. It also seeks to promote the sound development of related industries, as well as the protection of the rights of associated workers through close and continuous social dialogue. Gyeonggi Province recently announced plans to pay vacation cost support totaling 425 million Korean won to up to 1,700 temporary and non-regular workers in the province on an application basis. Any such worker over 19 years of age residing in the province with an annual income of less than 36 million Korean won is eligible for this support. Each qualifying recipient can benefit from vacation funds totaling 400,000 Korean won, of which 250,000 will be borne by the province, while 150,000 is paid by the individual. Applications for support can be made via the Gyeonggi Cultural Foundation website during the period from May 10th to 21st. Recipients can use their support payments at designated online malls during the period from June to December. Gyeonggi Province has been operating the Design Share program to help small design enterprises with product design development and improve welfare facility environments. Launched in 2013, this program has benefited a total of 318 design enterprises as well as 139 welfare facilities. While continuing its support to help small design businesses increase sales, the province has also expanded the range of beneficiaries this year to include public facilities. Air Products, a global industrial gas supplier, plans to invest approximately 150 million U.S. dollars in Yongin City of Gyeonggi Province for the establishment of production facilities for the semiconductor industry. On April 27th, Air Products Korea, Gyeonggi Province and Yongin City signed an MOU for the cooperative implementation of this investment project. 
According to this agreement, Air Products will expand its current Yongin facilities by the end of next year, while also establishing a new plant in the adjacent Jigok Industrial Complex. While pursuing the relocation of provincial organizations as part of its balanced regional development efforts, Gyeonggi Province recently held a public forum for residents who either support or oppose these pursuits before proceeding with its third set of relocation plans involving seven provincial organizations. During the forum, Gyeonggi Province Governor Lee Jae-myung stated that these relocation plans are important for the realization of a fair society since the province's northeastern regions and environmental conservation areas have long faced neglect and discrimination due to regulatory and other issues. Governor Lee also offered assurances that relocation will progress in accordance with procedures specified by related laws. Site selection results will be announced at the end of May after a second review of presentations made by competing regions. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.